We're still in Lapland, at one of the countless lakes in the area. We've been here a few days and deployed underwater cameras to follow life in a mountain lake. We've seen several trout slowly cruising for food, but we've also witnessed a feeding behavior we've neither heard nor seen before. A trout enters an area with a drop-off towards deeper water with lots of rocks and, presumably, prolific insect life. The trout slowly swims towards a certain point and holds still, waiting for several minutes, in fact. It's obvious it's observing, and when it detects movement, it strikes. We cannot tell what it's eating, but it could be cased caddis, a nymph, or even a snail. Our underwater cameras have documented this behavior several times with different fish. We've also seen more common feeding behavior. A really big trout is cruising along the edge to deeper water. And here it picks up something, probably a nymph. Morton shows how easy it is to find nymphs in these mountain waters. Simply lift and turn a few rocks and look carefully. Here is a small stonefly nymph. Morton ties on his wiggle tail nymph, which is not a specific imitation, but a really good all-round fly in mountain waters. The tying technique gives the fly great action underwater. Nymphs and other small prey also swim freely in the water, making them easy prey for a trout or grayling. The water's relatively deep close to shore, and there's no need for Morton to wade. He's fishing a floating line with a five and a half meter long leader, allowing him to fish the heavy fly deep. The retrieve varies, but Morton usually uses short pulls to imitate the natural's behavior. The detached body and heavy head gives the nymph a jigging and attractive behavior in the water.
nej. Oj, den är god, man. 